Well, the importance of monitoring and prevention uh, of bone metastases and their subsequent phenomenon of developing skeletal related events for men with metastatic castration resistant prostate cancer is vitally important. Uh, once we develop or a patient develops an elevated PSA and a suppressed testosterone level, invariably if there's no radiographic evidence of disease, they are asymptomatic. Uh, and, and men don't die of an elevated PSA. They don't develop symptoms of an elevated PSA if there's no radiologic evidence of disease. And oftentimes the first um, uh, sentinel event, which has really very significant prognostic indications for survival, is a bone metastasis. Uh, and not even thinking about its impact on survival, when patients develop bone lesions, it could be one lesion, it could be more than 10. Some men remarkably might have almost no symptoms and yet some will have very significant symptoms. Most common thing being pain. And so there's this amalgam of what we call skeletal related events, which include requirements for palliation from that pain of the bone met. Oftentimes it's uh, uh, introducing narcotics, advancing narcotics that are, they're already on or requirement for palliative radiation. Uh, there can be other uh, aspects to this SRE, skeletal related event phenomenon, uh, the development of a fracture and the attendant need for treatment, cord compression if it, there's vertebral spinal metastases, which is a devastating, a horrific uh, event. And there can be hypercalcemia. We don't see that that very common at all in, in prostate cancer. We see that in some other solid tumors. Uh, it's more common in myeloma and, 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 and women with metastatic breast cancer with bone lesions. So as I'm describing this, it's so important to prevent the complications of these bone metastases. If a patient who has a bone metastases has castration resistant prostate cancer, we want to do everything that we can to try and avoid those complications because it not only leads to a worsening morbidities, it leads to potential a decrease in their survival uh, and it has big implications to the healthcare costs uh, that we all are trying to uh, de-escalate.